Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot, links will be in the description down below. So today I want to talk about iOS 15.2 and one of its biggest changes that's coming to the iPhone that will change the landscape of iPhone 13 owners from here on out. This is one of the biggest changes coming and it's not something that you can see and of course in this video I want to talk about this particular change. Of course as always if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now with iOS 15.2, there's some software features that are coming that you guys already know about. And if you don't, links will be in the description for my entire beta coverage. You'll find out everything that's new within the software. Just to mention a handful of features here and changes that are coming that are major to the platform is things like communication safety. So if you have children under your Apple ID, this is going to be a major change coming to the platform here within iOS 15.2. So now you have that available with the software. We have a new redesigned and notification summary on the lock screen of iPhone, which I'm really digging. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one once the new software is available to the general public. We also have, of course, one of the big changes to privacy with iOS 15.2. We have the app privacy report where you can track your applications, what they're doing in the background. If they enable the microphone, the camera, anything that's happening, you'll know at what time it's happening, even with websites and things like that. So everything that's happening in the background, what you do on your your iPhone, you can actually see it here on the app privacy report with a graphical user interface that's user friendly, which is super cool and handy. Major update happening here. Now, there's also updates to emergency SOS in case you didn't know. If you press the side button five times and you try calling emergency services that way, the countdown now starts from eight instead of five. In case you did that by accident, you can actually have more time to stop that emergency call. There's also a big change happening here with a digital legacy you can pass down your digital legacy so when you pass away someone of trust can take all your personal data and get rid of it if you wish to do so or do whatever it is that you wish after you pass away so digital legacy we have some other minor changes to the apple tv application we now have a store tab here so you can rent and purchase directly from that tab and one of the biggest changes in the camera application we now have a new toggle for micro photography when you get close to a subject it appears right there on your screen super handy you've been using that one for quite some time. Now, aside from software updates and software changes, as I mentioned, this software has one major change that you can't see. Now, what is that change? Well, you might have heard the headlines when Apple launched the new iPhone 13. You can no longer replace the display of the iPhone 13 without breaking Face ID unless you took it to an Apple retail store or an Apple certified repair shop. So if you only have repair shops around your area that are not necessarily Apple certified, but do know how to replace displays on iPhone. You couldn't take your iPhone 13 to any of those shops unless it was an Apple store or an Apple certified repair shop. However, various sources that attempted to do this on iOS 15.2 have now confirmed that you can actually swap the display of your iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max without having to take your iPhone directly to an Apple store or an authorized Apple service repair shop which is a major, major deal. There's going to be millions of these devices out there. You can break your device somewhere where there isn't an Apple store, somewhere where there isn't a certified Apple repair shop, and then you would be stuck because if you do replace your iPhone's display, at least on the 13 that is, you won't have Face ID, and that's a big deal, obviously. That's one of the major security uh, sensors within the iPhone, and you want that working, obviously. So within the latest iOS 15.2, Apple is no longer restricting users for doing that. So now with beta 3, and hopefully this sticks around for the official final release of iOS 15.2, you should be able to replace the display of your iPhone 13, as I mentioned, all iPhone 13 from mini all the way to the Pro Max without having to hinder the Face ID user experience in 
pretty much break face id so hopefully apple continues with this apple even went as far as starting a new self repair program which should be starting early next year definitely getting in board with that of course after ios 15.2 officially drops to the general public i'm going to be testing this particular change i'm going to swap iphone 13 pro max display with another iphone 13 pro max display myself here in studio stay tuned and make sure to subscribe for that because as right now as i mentioned certified repair shops can do it and also on the latest beta for ios 15.2 beta 3 anyone can do it as well so stay tuned here for that video big news big changes coming with 15.2 and i'm hoping we see the software before the end of the year because many users will be traveling and if your iphone's display breaks especially if you have the new iphone 13s then you're stuck because if you're not close to an apple store then that's going to be an issue for face id now let me know what you think about this change apple making changes around here for the iphone 13 lineup i think it's a great idea thank you for watching this one guys and i'll see you on the next one peace